Hey, it's episode 24 of MLB The Show 16. Today on episode 24. I never saw the show. What happens? 24. Keith, Keith, I almost said Keith Bauer. Sorry, Dickie, start against Tyler Skaggs. Yeah, that's what happened. Every single episode of The Show 24 was R.A. Dickie. I'm hoping this doesn't mean we have a 24-hour game. But if we do, you'll see it. Jesse's excited. I am. So I'm fighting for a wild card spot right now. Jesse, you're fighting for not sure. Not sure what. The first overall pick of the draft. Not really something you fight for. Could be, if I try real hard. Trumbo! <laughs> there was a slight incident between the manager and Trumbo last game. I apologize for anyone who was offended. I don't. Screw them. I do. Stop clicking buttons! I'm trying to see if anybody plays catch or... Yeah. You know who does? Jonathan Hicks. What was that? I only have John Hicks. You know what? I'm going to do something out of the blue here, Jeremy. Yes, it is. Out of the blue is starting Nick Swisher. No. Yeah. I'm also starting someone terrible. Who? Paulo Orlando. Oh, he's not that bad. He's... He's as good as Ari Dickey. He's, uh, one overall worse than Trumbo. But it seems like he can field. John Mead. You just he's, got that sense? He's like, I'm, I'm the baseball player of the gods. Your home record is quite bad. It's almost as bad as my road <coughs> record, Gesundheit. I'm allergic to garbage. How do you how do you breathe near Nick Swisher? Nailed it. I nailed that joke. He just smells like axe. <laughs> I would imagine that yeah. Nick Swisher would more like hair gel. Can't really smell hair gel after a while. Not that I ever use it. What's that one hair gel commercial? What's that for? At prom, I put so much hair gel that my hair was, like, glued together. Jeremy wore a red suit. I looked, oh, I looked good, by the way. Jeremy looked absolutely, ridiculously good. You said I didn't look good. That's because, like, like back when we were at high school, I was just, like, a prissy little kid. Mm -hmm. But now I'm, like, I've, I've now, evolved. Now it's your job. I've evolved. How dare you. All right, Cesar Hernandez here. Ooh, I've evolved enough, and I'm not some snappy little whippersnapper. Snappy little whippersnapper. I can't think of words. Well, Cesar Hernandez is out, which is unfortunate. But you looked good. Tyler Skaggs putting in some good work. 1.42 whip. That's great. What's his nene at? Yes, Vance like. It's not a number. I think I find that Vance like is a number. He's number one to all in the of hearts us. of millions. There you go. Here's Carlos Correa. He's like the Vin Scully of players. Well, that's good. Oh, he stepped off the bag. Bad call. Nope, but good throw from Franco. <laughs> all right, JD with a uh, RBI opportunity. Hmm, trying to hit him in the head. Yeah. That's what it is. Good change up. Alright, it's starting to get dangerous now. Way to make contact. Like that hidden run? Yeah. <laughs> Love it. He went. Yeah, good call. Two and two. Two outs. Runner on second. That, uh, I'm afraid, is not going to do it. Kettle! Alright, well, I got a hit. That's the KFC. That's the Kettle Freddy connection. Oh, wow, that's great. Or the Kettle Freeman connection? No. I'm For really concerned that Ari Dickey is a 70 overall. <laughs> First name is Jeremy. Kettle Freeman connection. These ground outs have seven herbs and spices. <laughs> that's almost a home run. From Sterling. He's got good power. Oh, yeah. 
Oh no! Good yeah. recovery. <laughs> Very. <laughs> well, how did you do that so quickly? That was Korean, man. You should be able to hit a button to recover quickly. It's his era. It's his era? It's the Korea era. Remember Ruben Sierra? Uh, no, tell me. Just a person. I'm oh, good. DH for the Yankees. You're right. DH for the Yankees. Here's Kyle Seeger. Whoa! Near his knees. He's got a hitting streak to uphold. 11 games. They call him Knock Me Seeger. See the new brother? Brother Bear. We saw one of the Seeger brothers. Justin. Yeah, Justin. In A ball. The good one. Uh huh. Are they all related? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They look exactly the same. I don't remember what Justin Seeger looked like. All I remember is that he was a, an Everett Aqua Sock. Wasn't he an Everett Aqua Sox? He was a member of the Everett Aqua Sox. I don't think you can unpluralize it when it has an X. Would you would you say that David Ortiz is a Boston Red Sox? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That sounds absolutely incorrect. But that's right. He plays for Boston. He plays for the Sox. He played for all I remember is that he played for the Sox. John Hicks, two and Good patience. Two and one, still pretty good patience. Right back inside with a fastball. This time Ooh, crushes it. Two and two, two out. I guess calling someone a white sock or a red sock sounds kind of lame. Uh, yeah, and also they don't have the copyright on that. Which is the actual reason. You can still call them that. Slang terms. Oh, if you want to use slang. Jeremy, you know all about I'm slang. I'm a professional. I don't, I don't need to learn about slang. You gotta, you gotta... John Hicks! I hate how good John Hicks is. <laughs> He's actually really bad. It's the twist. Uh, you need to keep up with the kids, though. You need to get your slang down. Nick Swisher has an on-base percentage of 200. Are you playing him instead of A-Rod? Yeah. Is this Swisher's final game? A-Rod was tired. Uh, he'll probably play in the playoffs. If you make them. Also, why? <laughs> why would you play him in the playoffs? Uh, you know, if, in case my team gets the flu. Brandon Beachy is still a thing? Oh, yeah. Freeman, last four games, hitting 133. What did you do to him? He was so good. I played as him. He was so good. He was my, he was my best hitter. There we go. It's more like it. You gonna throw me out at first? Yep. Got him. Not a cutout, cutoff situation. Here's Michael Franco. Oh, nice take. Fastball? Yep. Did it fool you? I mean, like, no, but also, like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it didn't fool me, but it fooled in-game me. Yeah. Also, Jed. Here's Jed Jericho. Good defense last game. Still remember that, huh? Oh, yeah. Look how good that pitch was. That was pretty good. That one, not as much. There's no way to guess where it's going to be. Can't guess it, you just got to watch it. Did we play a game where I was a knuckleball pitcher and you were your team and you beat me like a 16 nothing? Uh, yeah, I think it was a pretty big score. Probably not that big. Was I Tim Wakefield? I think you were Tim Wakefield. I'm always Tim Wakefield, that's why I guess. Good catch by fans, like... My life is just one long attempt at being Tim Wakefield. Paulo Orlando's hitting 421. Yo, almost baking it! You got me. Yeah, pretty flashy play, eh? <gasps> Beautiful Cairo, Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> it's a road game. Ari Dickey hitting 85. It's beautiful. Not Ari Dickey or him hitting 85. Cairo, Egypt. I should oh, make that okay, okay, okay. I don't think Ari Dickey's beautiful. Nice first pitch ball, by the way. I gotta work around him, man. He's yeah. a tough. He's a tough swinger. He throws knuckleballs, so he knows how to f see all the other ones. Boom! See? Look at see that. that. Look at that power. Yes, look at that form. 
That was basically that Marlon Bird swing where he broke the bat without hitting the ball. Nice play. <laughs> it was coming towards the Dickie, zone. Dickie in his high socks. Yeah. The highest socks I've ever seen. Cesar. I just, I just missed it. He always gets hit. Have good. you noticed that? He plays professional baseball. It's probably a good idea. Oh, well, nobody on your team does. What? Like, I know, but rude. Oh, that was a tempting changer. How tempting? Guess Almost what? Almost that tempting. Paulo Orlando. Wow. Snoozing a little bit in the outfield. <laughs> yeah. You definitely would have gone to second. He was admiring the fans. Good steal by Cesar. What? He's clearly in there. Let's send him home. RBI single, Carlos Correa. Getting this game going. Well. Even Posey <laughs> sucks. No, I'm just so good at stealing. Picking the perfect opportunity. They're all pitches. In the, <laughs> they're all fastballs. Good check. JD Power! And Associates. Where did that land? Sorry, bud. I'm not sure about your Tyler Skaggs pick. 39th home run of the year for JD Martinez. You can't wait till the playoffs. Ooh! Oh, that's another good hit. Quality start, still on the table. Just need, what, three more innings? Yeah. Oh, good. Up comes... No, four. Tyler Skaggs. No, three. Just yeah, pitch, three. just pitch. I'm doing math. I know you can't relate. It's my job. Oh, Swisher. Embarrassing. <laughs> Absolutely embarrassing. That's a tough one. <laughs> Swisher just gave up on... Counts as a hit, though. An easy ground ball. That'll clean that up. Sweet, sweet bun. Yep. Yeah, well, I was very rushed there. Didn't know what I was gonna do. Fastball. Yes. Oh, you get me. Yes. Good thing I threw a fastball. I throw two fastballs. I throw two fastballs to Buster Posey, and you're safe. Delino steals, and freaking John Hicks throws me out. John Hicks is a good defensive catcher. He's got good speed. Dumb. Too. The one fastball I throw per year. That was unlucky. So dumb. Ooh. Terrible throw. <laughs> it wasn't very good. Disgusting <laughs> effort from Kyle Seeger. Gold glove. All right, Peterson, Hicks, Swisher. Let's do this. Absolutely murder <laughs> because they're all going to score. Oh, no. Bad vision by Peterson. Definitely not me. Uh oh. Good pitches. <laughs> wow, that was pretty impressive. Let's see if you can do that to John Hicks. Nope, he's going to get a double. Hope he's not injured. I do. Start Tyler Flowers for our last game. Maybe he'll throw somebody oh, out when we're stealing. That was ugly. That was also ugly. Bad at bat from Hicks. Let's see what Swisher can do. Home run. He needs to make up for that play. Does Nick Swisher have a home run hey, in the past two what seasons? What are you doing? Is Nick Swisher still in baseball? Oh, yeah, of course. 
He blew his baseball. <laughs> Look at that hit. Who's his wife again? <laughs> oh, Mrs. Swisher. She's famous. Yeah, she's Nick Swisher's wife. Oh boy! Here comes trouble. <laughs> and its name? Let's make it a double. Tyler Skaggs having to pitch. That's a good bunt. Wow, beautiful. Yes! Oh my god. Good bunt single for R.A. Dick. Speed! Eight! <laughs> That's higher than your pitcher's speed. Why would you not do that with two hands? You have plenty <laughs> of time to do that with two hands, Black Hill. <laughs> you want to look flashy. Oh, it doesn't matter anyway. Oh, I thought he didn't catch it. She noticed oh. how I, you notice how I decided to get R.A. out there? Good hit for R.A. Dreadful performance from seven, every one of them. 17 those. pitches so far. I feel like he faces that many batters. Ooh, that high, high heat. Hot, hot heat? 76 miles per hour. She was in the habit of reapplying makeup. Jesse, makeup. you should throw an ball. No, I don't. What does that mean? Just in general. No. That's my advice. I will not stoop to that level. Nice catch by Swisher. Here's Buster Posey. Someone who's faced some criticism from you. You mean everyone that's played for the Chicago Cubs this year? Except for uh, Kettle? Uh, yeah, Kettle. No. No, Kettle sucks as well. That was not a good pitch. Was that a sinker? Yeah. Why does R.A. Dickey have four pitches? <laughs> nice, Buster. Pop. He gets bored sometimes. I'm still not sure if I have a hit as Buster Posey so far this season. Fans like, you have a home run as him. I'm pretty sure. Other than that. <laughs> Here's Freddie Freeman, one for one. He's mastered the knuckleball I taught him when he was on my team. Oh. Oh. oh, jock sucks. Double! Oh, I thought I got you for a sec. <laughs> oh, come on, jock. That's an error on jock. Dang. At least it won't be an earned run on Ari Dickey. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think I made good contact. Yeah. Nice, tricky 30 mile per hour <laughs> fastball. It's 83, man. Do you th throw 83? Oh, Michael! A fastball? Yeah. I don't know. With as much training as R.A. Dickey has to do, probably. Okay, yeah, that's true. He's only been doing it for 20 years, though. Yeah. Like he's Scott Fans like. He's been pitching for as long as I've been alive, plus a year. Fans like. Shut up! Right ah! to his fans, right to his fans. It's like a maniacs. In case you forgot what they were called. I really like yelling at your team to shut up. Here's Carlos Correa. Good pitch, good pitch, <laughs> tie guy. I was getting ready to hit. Hit and run? Oh, oh, so close. That's a shame, that would have been a good moment. Why? Oh, it's like a maniacs. They would have run wild. Yeah, they get to watch their hero around the bases. <laughs> JD has a home run this game. He also has two double play balls. Well, you got to break some eggs to make a basket. That's not the saying. Yeah, you break some eggs and then that makes a little thing that you put in the basket for the eggs. Like egg yolk. You put egg yolk in your basket. Yeah, and then that you can sounds, put eggs in it. That sounds not. That sounds like a bad idea. And then the eggs are can be friends with the egg yolk. That's not. That sounds like sadistic almost. No. The chi the it's eggs. Like how a uh, baby cow sleeps under a uh, big cow. How is it that? Because they're the same thing, but one of them's smaller. And they're friends. Please don't get me out at second. <laughs> oh, so close. Okay, if you don't like my basket idea, you can just say so. I'm just trying to get clarification on what... Huh? <laughs> I was kind of just talking while I played. But I think I still think it's a good idea. Oh! oh Tyler Skaggs is safe! That's Paulo Orlando. Paulo Orlando. Hey, Trumbo. Why are you hitting his Tyler Skaggs? I don't have anyone warming up. 
Dale Thayer. Why, do you, why is Dale Thayer up? He's a 56 overall. Because when he, I called him up, he was better. He was a 61. Who should I play? Someone good. Who's a good one? once, Aaron Hill. You said someone good, right? Yeah. All I need <laughs> is for Aaron Hill to get this ball out of the infield. Uh, yeah, that'd be good. Just not, just not going to throw to me. All right, not bad, Aaron! I'll take that. No RBI. There's no RBI for that? Not if you didn't do a double play. Because the assumption is you could have thrown home instead. Oh. I'll take it. So Aaron Hill gets nothing from that, except he grounded a double play. I got him running. It doesn't go on his baseball card. Doesn't matter. It does. Aaron Hill baseball cards are very important. <laughs> I have one. As important as John McDonald baseball cards? I don't want to go ranking baseball cards. Here. Just former Blue Jays shortstops. I'd rather talk about baskets. I remember when John McDonald and Aaron Hill were the best thing to ever happen to Toronto. Those were the days, right? And now it's R.A. Dickey. They also had everyone's favorite third baseman, Corey Koski. I think he's your favorite. I hate him so much. Uh, everyone's favorite first baseman, Lyle Overbay, who oh, yeah. up until I was thinking about this Blue Jays team forgot existed. All right, nice play. Alex Rios? You better focus here. You got to pick who to put in. Bad choice. It's not. He's 28. Oh, then good choice, obviously. He's 28. <laughs> yeah, how would you... Hey. What are you doing? Throwing a Kyle Seeger again. Pitching at you. Is really that weird that I did that? Oh! Touch the base! <laughs> <laughs> he sort of just grazed it with his spikes. It counts. Yep. Alright, strike out and a ground out for uh, Peterson. All he needs is a fly out to complete the cycle. <laughs> what about uh, an intentional walk that he gets thrown out on? Not Somehow. actually a thing. Hidden ball trick. I feel like the hidden ball trick plays this is a slightly. Guy up there that's not hitting a ton right now, but he can still Ooh. the count. That alone can be beneficial to an offense. Because that's only three. I feel like that's not really... Maybe a line out? My dryer only has three cycles. It's beautiful. Is that like my... my? Uh, oh, get down, get down, get down. Oh. Jungle bug it. Hung up for too long. Is that like my Zune has only one headlight on it? What? That was a song, I'm pretty sure. Uh, okay. Wow. I just... <laughs> 96! Yeah, he's throwing 96 to John Hicks. Straight down the middle. 96? To John Hicks! Hicks is gone. Call that, you kick! He got 86 Nice. You mean he got nixed? Lance Nix? Uh. He's so good, he's so fast. Are you gonna bring him back to your team? Yeah, I'm going to make him my base stealer. Because I can't get over how... Oh, the BS position. I can't, uh, can't imagine why in my mind <laughs> Lance Nix was speedy. Probably my probably my favorite MLB podcast moment. Uh, what about when the pitcher got hit with the throw? That was, that was the other one I was going to say. One of those two. That was a good one. Oh, there's that swing. That pitcher was Matt Thornton. How could I forget? And that catcher was Jordan Pacheco. Hey, good stuff. Yeah. Here's Kettle Marte. Two ground outs. I also really like that time I hit. Uh, I don't think we did that on video, but we were playing a game of MLB. And Tyler Pasternicki hit a uh, walk-off home run against you. That doesn't sound like it happened. It did. It was really funny. Sounds it sounds like the opposite of the thing that would happen. It was Tyler Brasternick. <laughs> Big yes. play, Kettle. Swisher. Finally makes a play. 
Well, hold on, everybody. Jesse's got to check his phone. I was still, I was turning the notifications yeah, off. check his phone. Ooh. I got a Snapchat, whatever. It was, I mean, it was a text message. Stupid kids. You have Snapchat. Every time I'm over at your house, you Snapchat me. A picture of myself. Yeah, with, but I never Snapchat you when you're not at my house. With, uh... How many kilometers I'm going, and it's always zero. <laughs> no, one time it was 2.2. .2. No, I think that's when I was at sushi. I don't understand. Did you just move your phone quick? Nope, my phone was completely still. Do you know that Jeremy doesn't eat sushi? I didn't actually eat any sushi at the sushi place. I ate teriyaki thing, which I've been told is not sushi. I was hoping that it would be sushi so people would stop bugging me about it. But it's not. Swisher! But you would be surprised the amount of people that have offered me free sushi, because I have not had sushi. You have to pay for yours if you come with me. <laughs> oh, definitely not going with you then. Okay. Alright! Oh. Oh. Look at Paulo Orlando working to cut that ball off. If you have fish, why don't you just cook it? Doesn't take that much time. Alright! Took him two try. Oh, I didn't even pick it up. <laughs> A bunch of terrible throws. So, two hit game for Ari Dickey. Skags! Pretty happy with that. Oh, it's not Skags. I don't think he's allowed to earn run, has he? Who? Ari. No. Oh no! Bad play. Yes! Bad, bad play <laughs> for him. <laughs> pretty bad. <laughs> Gotta punish you for it here. This is the thing, is you just do it when my team plays poorly. It's mm -hmm. not my fault that Trumbo loops the ball in a second. You suck. <laughs> Everyone sucks. Tough break. Big break? Tough break. All right, well, I made it to second when I really didn't deserve to. Everyone <laughs> dropped the ball there. I guess Andres Lopez is just going to keep pitching. Great. I almost went to second. I heard you hit a button. Hey! And then I was concerned. Hey! By you hitting a button. You hit Stop it really listening. loudly. It's to trick you. Nice. Good play, Michael. Oh, my God. <laughs> You like that throw? Do you like how that wasn't half as bad <laughs> as the Trubbo? It was as bad. No. Here's Jed Jerko. Alright, don't double me up. Yeah, no, it would have been too close. Would have ended up getting no outs. Here's Paulo Orlando. <laughs> you saw what I was doing? No. Oh. So see I what have I'm to doing? play Bud Norris? <laughs> it's Trumbo time. It's never, ever, ever going to be Trumbo time again. What? You're not going to have a catcher if your catcher gets hurt. I have Tyler, Tyler Flowers. Oh. You're not going to have a catcher if your catcher gets hurt, though. Get off the plate. Man, if you hit him... <laughs> Beautiful play. That was good, eh? We, Beautiful we, we play. We practiced that a lot. Yeah. No. Dicky Dicky Hicks. Yeah. What if his name was R.A. Hickey? That sucks. That was a good hit. Uh, it wasn't really that good. It kind of just looped up there. What do you think would be worse? If his name was R.A. Hickey? I don't know why my voice cracked like that. Or if his name was John Dix. Um... Or if his name was John Dis. I don't want to make fun of any names. I'm not making fun of uh, anyone. John John Dix is not probably good. not the name you'd want. What if his name would... If, you know, you had a choice. But I'm sure there's lots of nice people who are named like John Richards or something. Richards? Yeah, John Richards. Brad Richards. Just call yourself that. Mike Richards. Garrett. LeGarrett Richards. Actually, you'd probably, you know, you'd probably be able to talk to people at the bar if your name was John Dix. You showed them your ID. You'd be like, wow, that's an interesting name. I have jaundice. That one I don't think would go as well, because I don't think a lot of people know what jaundice is. <laughs> Everybody knows about John Dix. 
Did you see Freddy go all out for that? Yeah, that was good stuff. He almost got it. Can you imagine if I caught that ball? I would have gone wild and then I probably would have yelled John Dix. Get down. Oh, Jungle Aww. Boogie! Ba -da 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 -da. I mean, he just wasn't throwing it. See that slide, though? Could not have scared me more that he wasn't going <laughs> to throw that ball. Paulo Orlando just earned a spot on this team. Wow, great. With a game left in the year. Yeah, so Why are you throwing at Kyle Seeger all the time? I'm Stop pitching. that. Those are his knees. He's pitching him in. Relax, dude. Take a chill pill. Those are his knees. Take a take a Bob Seeger pill. That joke could not have been less fun. <laughs> Does it give you night moves? Oh, wow! Weird way for me to set you up for that, but nah. It was a knuckleball. Of a setup. Oh, Kyle Seeger. See, that's why I throw at his knees. Well, he has to defend them. Defend the knees. Def yeah, defend the knees. That's the. <laughs> that's the Seeger family motto. Mm -hmm. It's on the crest. Oh, there's something I actually have to do right now. Go to your bullpen. Warm up the closer. Sishik? Yes. Get ready. He's got 45 saves. He's on the road to 50. Does he have enough time? I don't know. I think I had another series after this. I think you have two series after this. Oh, then I'll be fine. But what if you win every game by more than three? Oh, good point. That would be. I'll still give him to him. Sishek gonna give it to him? Why are you throwing at Starling's elbows? He's gotta He's use got those elbow to pads. hit. Gotta use those to hit, Jeremy. He Why does he have a hit. back elbow pad? Starling! I'm yeah, I bet it would really hurt if you got hit on the back elbow with a pitch. Yeah? You ever think about that? All the time. Yeah. Like 95% of my day is thinking about back elbow pitches. Yeah. Back elbow pitches, better that, better that. And the rest is thinking about Carly Ray Jepson. I got into Carly Ray Jepson, everyone. Very exciting. You should update your Twitter bio. What's her What's her fan group called? It's, I don't know. Oh, she doesn't have any weird. <laughs> this is the woman who said, "Saying call me maybe," in case anyone's wondering. Uh, they're called uh, they're called gypsies. She's Canadian, so she stays in the press for whatever reason. You need thirty percent Canadian content. Is that true? Uh, I think they got rid of that actually. Oh, that used to be the case, yeah. They're called Gypsies. Was arguably a part of Nickelback's success. Unfortunate. Unfortunate placement. <laughs> you know, if you're a rock station, you're like, oh, we gotta play some Canadian music. Why not Nickelback? <laughs> Why not Nickelback? Yeah. That's what, I'm pretty sure that's what Avril Lavigne said at the wedding ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> They're happily divorced now. And when I mean say that, I mean I'm happy that they're divorced now. What, are you putting the moves on Chad Kroger's ex-wife? Yeah, I'm definitely dating Avril Lavigne. That's not cool. See, I was the skater boy that was... Yes, that's cool. John Hicks. I got I got distracted by, by the skater boy lyrics. Big triple. Come on, count that. That's not an error. Ah. Also, not very good that... Uh, you suck. <laughs> what was that? I hit throw to home. Why? Like, as the ball rolled to him, and then he <laughs> continued to do it as I hit throw to first. Oh, good. All right, Dickie's got an opportunity. Why would you not take Dickie out? It's the nine. I'm going to. You pitched too fast. It's rude. Bad job by Avril Lavigne to rhyme the word boy with the word boy. Yep, I'm sure she wrote that. Time for Nate McDougal. Mc, Mc, McDougal. Not to be confused with Dougal. Oh my god, what a good movie. William H. Macy gave his best role. Alright, McDougal's never playing again. Ah, oh, Dougal. No! No, Mystery Men was William H. Macy's best role. He's also really good on Shameless. What's the other one? Fargo. He was also really good in Fargo. William H. Macy's just a good actor. Oh, yeah, not bad. 
Okay, I'm not throwing the knuckleball. Did you pause because you hit sinker? <laughs> yeah, down the middle. I mean, you could have moved it. I could have, but I just wanted to reset. Rethink my strategy. Start fooling you with those change-ups. So fooled. So fooled, the Jesse Simmons story. I'll fight you. Don't fight me. In game life. Oh, in NHL? You never accept my fights. No. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get the YouTuber's life. Francisco Rodriguez has 51 saves. He's good. Think about that. So I don't think we're in YouTuber's life. But I'm going to get in it, and I'm going to be better than you are. Okay, well, I haven't played it, so it should be pretty easy. Exactly. How does that feel, Jeremy? Mm -hmm. Every Everyone out there is going to know I'm better than you at YouTuber's life. And you're going to have to eat your words every day with your little straws that you drink chocolate milk out of. I haven't used a straw in many years. I, I have a picture on my computer saved of you drinking chocolate milk with a straw. Oh, I mean at a restaurant. But like at home, I'm not using straws. You're still going to have to eat your words. You're going to have to use a straw to eat your words, which isn't even what you use straws for. No, they're not generally for eating. But you're going to have to. You seem like someone who would eat straws. That's what I, I, I want to fight you more. <laughs> what does that even mean? I don't know. You eat a lot. I don't. You do? You're just eating my crackers that I have. You eat no food. It's not I eat a lot. Then why it's, do I have so much food? Literally everyone that isn't you. Big save. Everyone that isn't no, you tells nobody me cares that anyone. I need to eat more. I want. Oh no! I leaned into a different spot on the couch, and the thing that was behind my back fell on me again. If you watch multiple of our videos, you'll understand. Yeah. My plight. Things keep falling on Jeremy. The series. We should just do that. We should make something fall on you every episode. Can it be money? That'd be cool. Eddie money. Or It'll like... be Eddie money records. No, that would be bad. Those are like 50 cents. I could just go buy some. It'll be 50 cent the rapper. Mm, he seems pretty, uh, pretty stout. Wouldn't want him to fall on me. 75 cent? The failed Taco Bell experiment? What about fourth meal? What's going on with fourth meal? What's that? Taco Bell had a thing where there's like a fourth meal. Like just breakfast, lunch, dinner, fourth meal. Second breakfast? No, I think it was like a night thing. I don't know. It's just like eat again. They make they make tacos out of like pure Cheetos dust. So like I don't I don't. Follow. Uh, I think it's Fritos. It's Doritos. No, it's also Fritos. Oh man. Hey, look, it's Grant um, Green. That's unfortunate. You've got Grants of Green. Hey, Dodger Stadium. Cool. Just in time. For what? They've lost. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So you have two more series. Next week. Right. Elias. Oh. The matchup we've seen 15 <laughs> plus times this series <laughs> returns. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. All right. Well, we'll, we'll see that next week, and then it'll be playoff time. Oh, what about this? Bradley Kazmir. I'd rather play else? that. <laughs> Look uh, at Bradley's ERA. Awful. Strasburg Locke sounds good. No, not really. What about Locke Strasburg? <laughs> Better. Some good matchups. Hmm. Ah. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> don't know about that one so much. Mm. Anyway, let's go back to what we're doing. Well, All right, next week. I can't look. Right, Elias. We'll see you then.